Hello and welcome to my instructional video on how to make spawn points in Team Fortress 2. To create a spawn point in Team Fortress 2, you need to make an entity in your map. To make an entity, click on the Entity tool and click on your map. You now have an entity. Right click on your entity, go to Properties and you'll get the Object Properties window. The class will be set to Info Player Team Spawn by default. All entities created in Team Fortress 2 will be set to Info Player Team Spawn. Fortunately for this tutorial, this is the class that is needed to create a spawn point. So to make sure it is an info player team spawn, click apply. You now have one spawn point. However, the key value team determines what team can spawn into that spawn point. If it's selected to any, that means blue and red can spawn into this spawn point. If you're making a decent control point, capture the flag or payload map you don't want any team to spawn into any spawn point so you need to make it team team specific so to make it team specific click team and because I'm near the red zone click the drop down box and click red then click apply and then cancel you now have one working red spawn point obviously one red spawn point is boring as only one person can play so what you want to do is copy that and paste in 16 more to a total of 17 red spawn points. Why I say 17 you say because 17 times 2 is 34 and 34 players is the maximum any Team Fortress 2 server can, can hold. However some of you say oh but you know there's 32 or it's not 34. It is 34. Some mods out there do allow to increase the max players to 34. So to cater for all servers you want to create 34 spawn points so 34 players can play. So 17 on one side, 17 on the other, that's all good. I'm going to create a few for you here just to get you to get the gist. Right, you have now all of your red spawn points. Now over to the blue side. To create one blue spawn point just paste one red spawn point in there but it's red you say of course it's red so what we're going to do now is right click on this go to properties info player team spawn go to the team key value change it from red and make it blue you now have one blue working spawn point copy that and create 17 well 16 more blue spawn points again I'm not going to create 16 more. I'm just going to do a few for you. Right, now you have your spawn points. One thing you need to know about spawn points, just like in Counter-Strike, they can't be touching each other. If they touch each other and two players in-game spawn in those two adjacent spawn points and they are touching, they will get stuck. I don't know why this happens, because Team Fortress 2 runs a no-block built into the engine. Um, but they do get stuck. Same with walls, if you put a spawn point and it's touching a wall um, they'll get stuck. Don't know why, but there you go. Um, something else you need to know about spawn points. Any red spawn points, any class in the red team, so Pari, Medic, Scout, etc. They can spawn into any spawn point. It doesn't. You don't need to set the spawn points to spawn to accommodate different classes. That's fine as it is. Right. You need to check for problems in your map, just in case there is any problems. To go to map at the top, check for problems. There should be there is no player start. This is fine as we can fix this. To fix that and put in a player start into your map, click the entity tool, click in your map, select the entity, right click, go to properties and change it from an info player team spawn and make it an info player start. I don't know why this is needed in any map, but it's the same for Counter Strike Source. There is probably some long-winded, valve, boring explanation why this is needed, but I believe it's to tell the map to tell the game to put players in your... allow players to spawn, I think. I'm not too sure. You can read up it on the Valve Wikipedia. But there you go. This is basically it. Um, you can either save now, save now, or you can continue building. Um, if you have any problems, queries, or just general questions feel free to PM me on YouTube and I'll get back to you about it if you have any ideas 
or a tutorial that you want to see made in the future for Team Fortress 2, um, you you can PM me and ask me f to make a tutorial for you. Um, I won't accept Counter-Strike Source tutorials because there's a guy who I link in my comment uh, down the side on my YouTube page. Um, he makes very very good Counter-Strike Source tutorials and he'll probably be able to help you more than I can on Counter-Strike Source. Thank you for watching my tutorial and all the best.